that was a day where the you know not only the National Weather Service but all of our local guys were telling us that it was going to be uh, a, a rough day. Mm -hmm. We knew the storms were coming, and so the nice thing is we were able to prepare and be ready. And so we opened up all of our community shelters, which there's four of them. Um, this one will hold 4,000 people, mm -hmm. and by the time it was said and done, yeah. we were in the area of over 2,000 people safe that night. So oh, it was wow. a great, great situation for us. So is there anything that you or the community has learned that we can use to help drive our, our movement of reducing disaster suffering? Well, you know, when I look at some of the things that have happened in our area, you know, when, when, when Joplin, you, we lost 160 people, and on that situation it was again we kind of knew the weather had a chance of being bad but there were so many people that didn't have the place to go for us that's been the biggest thing is just giving our people that opportunity and getting the word out that listen if there's going to be bad things we have provided this place for you what impact do you think it's had on on the students and what do you think that will mean for their future as young adults? You know, I, I, the, a lot of our kids have seen the worst of the worst. You know, mm -hmm. they, were, they were young at the time when, when Joplin took place. And really what we were able to see with May 22nd was that our young people did take advantage of our opportunities. After May 22nd happened and that took out the high school and it kind of just shook our whole community, it's nice to have a place where in school um, that we're at all the time, pretty much every day, except for three months out of the year, that um, we can come to and we know that we'll always have and it will protect us and uh, we don't have to be nervous about that. What are the types of things that you'll think about because of your experience growing up here that will help um, individually in, in neighborhoods and communities that you'll live in in the future that uh, you can be better prepared for things like this? Growing up in Joplin, we're right in Tornado Alley, and so we've always kind of grown up even at home, learning mm -hmm. to go in the basement, just stay underground, watch the weather, make sure that everything's safe. But I think as I grow up and go into that, I'll remember all those things and bring those into my own family, into my own home. You know, after the Joplin tornado, it was such an eye-opening experience for our community. And so when I come in and see a tornado warning taking place in Web City, and we're able to shelter over 2,000 people and make sure that they're safe, then we have done something right as a school district and also as a community.